Welcome to the homework for lesson 18. This is module 6 of first grade. Please write your name first. And now it says we're using any method we can uh, that we want to to solve the problems below. So we can draw the quick tens and the ones. We can you do the vertical method we've been practicing for the last two lessons. We can use number bonds and there's like four or five different ways to use number bonds. Arrow way. There's like all those methods that um, that we've been working on recently that we've learned and uh, and practiced then we're and we're thinking about like looking at the numbers and what strategy is going to be the easiest one to use for the numbers that we have so this 61 and this 15 usually it almost i mean i always look at the ones digits i look at this one the ones place numbers that one and that five and that's only going to add up to six so i'm right away i'm thinking you know what I could just do that. 1 plus 5, 6, and 6 plus 1, 7. As long as those 1's digits don't add up to more than 9, um, it's going to be it's just going to be that easy. Uh, and here we have 16 plus 51. It's kind of the same numbers, isn't it? So we have 16. And I'm going to draw the pictures this time with the quick tens. So that's 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 51, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1. So here we go. We had just have 7 ones, and here we have 6 tens. Count them. And I'll also write it vertically. And you're still adding 1 and 5 and 6 and 1. Oh, wait, I wrote 61, and I wrote the wrong problem here, didn't I? That's being rather silly. 16 plus 51. And I have the 6, looking at the 1's digits, the 6 and the 1, that adds up to 7, and 5 and 1 adds up to 6. 67. This is a really easy method to use for these numbers because you're just adding one more. You're taking this 6 and you're adding one more to it to get 7, and you're looking at this 5 and adding one more to get 6. Same as the others. So, I mean, that's a good choice for that method because you just have to add 1. So, here I'm looking at this, and I'm looking at a 7 and a 5, and that's going to that's gonna add up to more than 10. So, and that 7, I don't see like a, for a number, I'm just going to use a number bond strategy, make this a 30 and a 7. So I've got 45 plus 30, which is going to equal 75. And 75 plus that 7, right? Because we add the 30, now we're going to add the 7. 75 plus 7. And think of this 7 as a 5 and a 2. Because we're going to get here, these two 5s are going to make it 10 which will get it to 80, and then this 2 more will make it 82. Or you can just count it up. 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. That's the 7 more numbers you need. 27 plus 46. All right, well, I'm going to just do this. Since we've been practicing this so much, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 46 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And just to see how this works. So this 7 and this 6, can I make a 10? Yeah, I can make a 10 right here. And I have three 1s left. And now I just count my 10s, right? We've got 4 and 2, that's 6, and one more, 7 for 73. And I'm going to write it vertically, too. So 27, 46, 7 plus 6. We know we have that 3, and we need that. 10 right here and then we just add our tens the two and the four six one more seven seventy three let me go back and make sure i wrote in all my answers here all my sums 58 plus 27. all right so let's take the 27 and make it a 20 and a 7. And I can start with 58 plus 20. 
I'm adding just two more tens, which makes it 78. And then 78 plus the 7. Think of this 7 as a 2 and a 5. And then this is the this this 2 will get you to 80, and then 5 more 85. 38 plus 48. Now, I remember there were times when we used uh, number bonds before where, but what if you're really good at doubles and you know 8 plus 8? And it's just a fact that you're really solid on. So we could start with that and add the 8s. And I can do this arrow way. You don't have to do it arrow way. You can use number bonds. You can draw the quick 10s and do it vertically. That's 16. And now... I have to, so that's the, right, and then to really do this right, I want to show the number bonds. I'm adding the 8s first, and then I'm going to add the 30 and then the 40. 46, and then add 40 more. 86. Now, uh, looking at this number 5 here, I noticed that I forgot to write in the answer, 85. And uh, maybe I forgot to do that other places too. Let me go back and check it just to make sure. Oh, that looks good. 